First up, the national flag, the year 2019, and the national emblem, as well as individuals who have made great contributions to the founding and development of the country. One thousand nine hundred forty-nine young people are carrying a giant flag. It was at Tiananmen Square that the PRC flag was first waved seventy years ago. People's Republic of China was founded. young people make up the year and the national emblem formations. In the center of the emblem is Tiananmen, entrance to the Forbidden City. Above are five stars, which symbolize the unity of the people under the leadership of the party. The sheaves of wheat and rice stand for the farmers and the cogwheel for the workers. Hebei is a third of a metropolitan region with Beijing and Tianjin. Xinhuang's new area serves as a hub for the economic triangle. Shanxi possesses one-third of China's total coal deposits, and its economy is centered around heavy industry. Inner Mongolia has rich natural resources and is known for its vast grasslands. Downing, a traditional industrial base, is building itself into a new technology and innovation center. Jilin province boasts large deposits of shale oil and minerals. Heilongjiang is the largest agricultural base industrial area. Shanghai is a global financial, technology and transport hub. Jiangsu is the leading province of finance and technology. In 2018, its GDP ranked second among provinces. Economic powerhouse 
Zhejiang is renowned for its thriving private sector. Starting points of the Asian Maritime Silk Road and home to four UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Jiangxi was one of the earliest bases for Chinese communists. The city region is called the Red Capital. Shandong is the birthplace of Confucius, whose teachings have influenced Chinese for many generations. considered a cradle of Chinese civilization and has a large number of heritage sites. Hubei is a major transport thoroughfare in central China. One of its best known natural attractions is the Three Gorges. Hunan is a mountainous province in central China. It was the birthplace of Mao Zedong. Guangdong, on the front line of China's reform and opening up, is the richest province and a major export hub. Bordered by Vietnam and Halong Bay, Guangxi is becoming a financial opening up gateway to Southeast Asia. The Zhuang are the principal ethnic minority. Hainan is China's southernmost province. It was designated as the country's 12th free trade zone. Located in southwest China, Chongqing municipality is a mega city and an economic center of the upstream Yangtze Basin. Sichuan, described as the land of abundance, is a major agricultural production base and a tourism center. Guizhou is rich in natural and cultural resources. The Huangboshu waterfall is a major tourist attraction there. Yunnan is home to 26 of China's ethnic groups, creating a unique fusion of different cultures and traditions. Tibet is home to Mount Chomolangma, known in the West as Everest. Tourism is a growing industry. Shanxi is considered one of the cradles of the Chinese civilization. Thirteen dynasties established their capitals in the province. Gensu is known as the home of the Morgal Grottoes and their Buddhist art, and the key corridor of the ancient Silk Road route. Qinghai is located on the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. The Yellow and the Yangtze Rivers have their sources in the province. Communist Party members from different generations 